Hello, everybody. So, you're probably wondering, what's this? What's going on? What is this live stream that's popping up that is uh, not scheduled? Um, I've decided I wanted to do a solo RPG with Star Trek Adventures. Now, if anybody knows me, they would know that I love Star Trek Adventures. Um, then I GM and play, and well, I mostly GM um, uh, several times a week. Sometimes this game. Now I have done solo RPGs before, uh, but not much because, to be honest, I find them a little bit boring. Um, for me, the whole point of RPGs is to actually roleplay with friends. So, uh, I guess what I'm trying to do here is do it in a way to where um, we can put it out there on YouTube on the live stream. People can watch it if they want to. People can even join or send messages, you know, do all these cool things. Um, but this is basically a way for me to be able to play the game and not have to just GM it. Um because I rarely ever get to play Star Trek Adventures or any RPGs because I GM for like somewhere between 30 and 40 people sometimes 45, 50 um, so yeah, this is what that's about uh, like I said, I have tried solo RPGs before but it usually is in text role play and it's usually with others you know, because we just decide to use a GM emulator um to make decisions and have random events, uh, but then we stop using GM Emulator because it's just easy when we're typing to just make stuff up on the fly, and we're all pretty good at that. Uh, one thing, so yeah, one thing I will say is uh, I'll be using Roll Twenty. Um, the thing about, and as you can see, this is blank. I haven't started anything yet. However, I will be using my Starforged account um, to make decisions with oracles and moves. Not really decisions, more like just randomized things like names and, and actions and stuff for NPCs. But my other account, the Star Trek one, brand new. Um, and I, so Star Trek, you know, the system the character sheet, everything like that will be Star Trek, but my Starforge character sheet will be used to randomize things, as well as the GM emulator and probably some other emulators or G or randomizers. Uh, let's see, what else? I wonder if OBS is working correctly. Uh, looks like everything's working correctly. I just hope there's no uh, feedback. Let me listen real quick. The character sheet, everything like that will be Star Trek, but... Okay. Not My Starforge character sheet will be used to... Um, so that's good. Um, let's see what else. So... Yeah. I will go ahead and get started. It's kind of... So basically this is kind of... You know, as you can see here, it says World Weaver. So this is basically less about roleplay, in my opinion, for me. And more about building the world. Make, you know, things like that. Um... So, yeah, we'll get, go ahead and get started. Alright, so, first thing we need to decide is, are we going to play Starfleet? Because, well, we probably are. Um, I'm just going to ask, are we going to play Starfleet? Chaos level 5. Odds of playing Starfleet is pretty much a sure thing. If it says no, then that'll be interesting. Okay, yeah, so, yes, we are going to be playing Starfleet. Alright, so now, I've got to make my character. And this character will be the character that pretty much is going to be making decisions. And, uh, you know, I will be making decisions through them. So, I've got to make a decision now. Uh, do I want it to be a lowly ensign and kind of move him up the ranks in Starfleet? Or do I want it to start out as a captain so I could be making decisions, you know, um, pretty much straight out the gate? I think what I'll do is... This episode will be kind of like the life path system for the character. Well, yeah, I think I have to pick the era first. 
So my main game is set in 2401, going on 2402. Um, I will go ahead and ask, is it in the same year? I'm going to say somewhat likely. And then if it's not, okay, it is. Oh, PC positive dispute goals. All right, so we will copy this, put it in, um, I'll put it in both roll 20 and um, gilded, which is what I use. Oh, I will need to make music eventually as well uh, to create this, the the theme, the environment. Uh, let's see. T -t 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 yeah. All right. And I, what was it that I asked? Um, the year, right? 2401. Year 2401. Month November. Actually, it's December now. <laughs> Or should I start in January? You know what? Nah. Um, oh, but if I'm doing life path system for... Should it be in the past? Nah, I don't... I'm not a big fan of going back into the past. Um, I like... Uh, I like moving forward. Less likely to make mistakes. So... Um, the and oh, which universe is it going to be set in? Is it going to be set in mine, the one I've already made? Uh, I'm going to say near sure thing, um, because it just makes sense, same year and everything like that. But if not, then I could just make up a whole new universe. Oh wow, another one. NPC action delay lies. Now, part of me wants it to be, um set in a different universe because then I can completely wonder what's up with this freaking I don't know what's going on with this uh, roll 20 chat why it's that blank thing there so I'm gonna move it down a bit there we go um but I did ask if I should make it in a different universe or the same universe, and it said same universe. So, uh, but it is world weaving. So it'll be a different universe, I guess, or it'll be a Star Trek universe. So it'll be roughly the same as mine, but there will be different things. So let me actually write that. Di alternate universe from main campaign. I'll just put slightly alternate universe from main campaign. World building encouraged. Okay, so if things are different, it's no big deal. If things are different, oh, let me copy and paste that. Um, all right, so now, all right. So now do I, now I kind of have to make, well, let's start with the character, because we can build um, off of that. I am really, really, really tired of seeing the color white, so I'm going to change this. There we go. All right, so we're going to add a character sheet. Um, do I care about, well, we got to figure out the species, so we'll go ahead and um, just add that there. Okay. I really wish they'd kept the character sheet on the second tab. Ooh, I wonder if I can change it. No, I can't. That sucks. Um, anyway, so now, main question, is he human? Um, I think it's likely or somewhat likely, or very likely, because a lot of people in Star Trek we see are human because Starfleet is a Earth uh, and human predominant uh, military. I'll go with likely. Is my character human? Yes. Okay, that makes it simple. Is my character male? Again, uh, majority are male, and I am male, so I'm going to say likely. Yes. Okay, so human male. I'll go ahead and put that in there. 
species human male. So that means this name is off the board. All right, so now I will go to the life path generator, character generator. Wonder if anything different was today. Look and feel changes to some Starship pages and the supporting character sheet. A bug fix for Starship creation. Minor changes to system. There are some things that they need to fix in there, but. Alright. So now we will go with main character. It's in Starfleet. I guess we start him as a child. Nah. We'll just say he's going through Starfleet Academy. Select species human. All right, so I'm always a big fan of using your mind over, you know, brains over brawn. So I will go insight, presence, and reason, and we'll figure out from there kind of where his, you know, whether what his department is, you know, whether it's science, medicine, engineering, etc. Uh, allow cross species talent, allow esoteric. I would say allow esoteric. Well. I'll ask the Gemini, should I allow, I'm going to say it's, actually it would be uh, very unlikely to have esoteric talents, extreme now, alright, so we're definitely not doing that, alright, so leave that there, alright, so, mm. oh, I'm going to say, should I roll for talents, 50-50, um, no, okay. Which makes sense because, you know, uh, well, first of all, I'm, he's human. I'm going to start him out uh, with uh, Spirit of Discovery because he's human. You don't have to, but uh, should I allow alternate environments? Again, 50-50, not a big deal. Yes, okay. I'm going to roll alternate environments. Oof. Occupation or war? Oh, my God. my car Okay, so now i got to figure out what war um, it's gonna. I'm gonna say it's gonna make him more daring, um, and it's gonna give him some security. And his value is going to be distrust of then a species. <sighs> what species did the Federation go to war with? And this is where he grew up. So tw roughly 20 years from 20. So that'd be 2380. Yeah, I gotta randomize a. Species Star Trek species random Star Trek species generate randomizer. I probably don't need the first random for that. Uh, I know I already know this doesn't have it. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Random species Star Trek Online era D100. Ooh, but is there bad? Sp yes, there's Klingon. Okay, so um, roll. What species... Oh, did they go to war with the Trill? Should it be the Trill? I'm going to say... It's it's very unlikely. In fact, no way that they go to war with the Trill. Yeah, no. Um, leave this over here. Roll again. Delurians. You know what? I'm not even sure if they're Starfleet spe or Federation species. So, he is distrustful of Lurians. The Lurian War of 23. Let's say he was roughly 10 years old, so 2390. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting, interesting. All right, and I'm going to put this in over here so I have it later. All right, so. Oh, should I allow up, uh, alternate upbringing? Say 50 50. Yes, all right. Roll alternate upbringing to prosper. Uh, do I, but do I care? Is the point. Frankie, yeah, this is about monetary influence and affluence. Um, but at present, it's good. Let's we'll see what happens if I rebel. Oof. Well, I'll just say he wants to be prosperous in a different way. Like, he wants his reputation to be good. He wants to have a good job. You know, stuff like that. All right, so this will give him his command. And now I get to pick something that's not human-related. Um, hmm, 
nothing really great popping out though. Let's see, let me look back to Prosper. So this is probably something regarding his family. You know, they're probably business people or something like that. So he's probably really well informed when it comes to stuff like that. Um, and probably is able to persuade people in the art of negotiation. Persuasion, negotiation. Starfleet Academy. So now he's in Starfleet Academy. So the years, uh, you know, let's see. He's born in, well, if he graduates Starfleet Academy early, um, man, I'm going to have to do some math here. All right, so tw let's just say 2380 plus 18 equals 2398. So that's when he graduates, unless he's in the medical. No, that's when he goes into the Starfleet Academy. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. He'd graduate when he's 22. So in 23, 2401, he'd be 22. So we clear that out. 2378, he's born, plus 18, he goes into Starfleet Academy, plus 4, okay, so it's got to be 2379, my math is the worst, 2379, plus 18, is when he goes in, plus 4, so yeah, roughly 2401, he would come out, although it would be 2401, early okay that makes sense so we'll say earlier in 2401 um he graduated uh, so let me put that in the so graduates early 2401 unless in medical school med school okay So then, select officer track, roll officer track, select enlisted track. I think I'm going to keep him an officer, so, but I'm going to roll the officer track. So the only thing that I don't want, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because even if he gets command or medicine, that's fine. Let's see what he, oh, he, he wants to go. So in Starfleet Academy, he goes through command school. Um... He's going to get a plus to the insight, a plus to control, and a plus to reason. Get that command. So, yeah, he's he's, he's going to probably graduate as a junior lieutenant. Let's see. We'll give him another security. And science, because that's super important in Star Trek. Now, focus, obviously, diplomacy. Um, and let's go ahead with something for security. Um, let's see. So he's already got like the, ma the manipulation stuff down with persuasion, negotiation, and diplomacy. So we need something perception. Yeah, we'll go with perception. And then something more martial, like security. Uh, let's see. I'll go. I'll, I'll combine perception with investigation, because it's kind of the same. And then for a focus for security, that's going to be more like you know what? I, I kind of want to make a small squad tactics leader. Might not ever come in handy, but that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. It would be cool to have minis to do that. Ooh, interrogation might be a good one to take. Uh, da, 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 da. Trying to see if there's anything. Character you assisted gains bonus momentum. Man, 
So many good ones for command and security. Diffused attention. That's going to be in a conflict whenever the character performs the assist tasks. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of assisting, though, I think. Doing oof. Criminal Minds. Man, so many ones that I want. <laughs> But some are probably better for solo RPGs than others. Advanced team dynamics. The people working for you are the best, and you expect the best from them. The first time each adventure that introduces a sporting character, that sporting character may take one additional option to improve the sporting character. Okay, so basically, um, they can take an option. Like I guess that means like a talent or value or something. I like that. I'm going with that. Because I'm going to need supporting characters since I'm, it's a solo RPG. Value that he... Uh, of a character's beliefs that developed during their time at the Academy. So, because he went to command school, I think the, the, the value is something along the lines of leadership is forged. Not... I want to say not born, but... Leaders... I'll say leaders, leaders are forged, not born. Like, nobody's a born leader, he thinks. Because, I mean, that wasn't his, where he was going, but then, you know, that's where he ended up. Select career, role career. Well, I know I don't want him to be a veteran, so. Oh, wow. Can't even be a young, um, oh, because of advanced team. Okay, so, yeah, he's definitely going to be. So, at this point, he is... Lieutenant Junior Grade going on to Lieutenant. Oh, so the year is going to be... Let's pull out the calculator again. It was 2401 when he graduated as a Lieutenant Junior Grade. We'll say plus four, and he makes a full Lieutenant. So the year is 2405. 2405 promoted to full See, I want to start off as an incident and work his way up, but it looks like because of how things work, that's not going to happen. But that's fine. That is fine. Alright, so he's now he has a value. You know, once he's become experienced, 2405, he has a value of... Um, hmm. I like space makes everything more dangerous all right um so at this point he's probably a chief of security so he's going to need some more security stuff uh, nothing command related because he's again chief of security and then he'll probably be made exo but when he's a lieutenant commander so Turning around a corner, you and your allies make no no retain initiative. That might be actually good to get. Come on, I need some more security stuff. No hesitation. Regardless of it, yeah, that's another one that's good. Hmm, mean right cook no interrogation. Uh, hunker down. That's interesting. I I might. I want, might want to hunker down. Diffuse detention. No. Secure. Oh, defensive training. Selecting. Uh, attacks against you increase in difficulty. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go defensive training. Because he would have defensive training as a security chief. Roll career event. Alright, so he's, it, he's... We'll say it's 2406 when this happens. He makes first contact. All right. All right. Twenty-four oh six makes first contact with. Now we got to make up a whole fucking alien race. Uh, but either way, he's probably gonna need more security. Um, and this is probably gonna be. Uh, oof. The, it, it's. Pro I mean, since he's got an a additional security, it's probably gonna require. Um, some sort of intimidation. Maybe, no, 
what happened probably was the the ship that they ran into their cultures were just so different that they couldn't understand each other enemy ship opened fire uh, so their ship uh, is shipboard tactical systems is gonna come in handy um, first contact with hostile race alright so we'll say hostile race or species make alien species okay uh, let's see I doing? Oh, yeah. um, I'm going to go ahead and make the species now because it might actually affect future things. So, so many things here. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Random species, no. Random spaceship, no. Random tables, no. I might have to Google it again. Because I know I have a Don John thing somewhere. That well, actually, there's a better one. I th I think. Um, random alien species generator. There's one that I like better than Don John, and I think it's this one. Yep. So I will move this one to here. Although I'm pretty sure it's already there. Let's see. Mm, I guess not. Alright, the Sparn, they are avians with fantastic hearing. A strict social code governs everything they do in their society. Alright, so that's that's what I'm going to say. First contact race is the Sparn. And then I'm going to just copy and paste the description. I wonder if they fly in space. I don't even know if that's possible. Uh, and that's in their society etiquette is taken just as seriously as criminal law and that's probably why there was big combat because of etiquette um, the etiquette wasn't followed of course you know a starship didn't know the etiquette um, by the way we need to make a ship um, it's kind of hard to do that in here though Real career event. We'll do that next time. Oh, and we'll say this is 2408, I, I would say. 2408. He's still a full lieutenant. But I'm going to say dealing with this pl plague probably gives him a field promotion or something. Uh, let's see, 2406 to 2408, right? 2405. So three years. Nah, he, he needs probably he needs another year. Actually, we'll say, yeah, we'll say it's 2409 before he gets promoted to full for lieutenant commander. So what does that put him as, as far as age goes? So we got, he's born in 2379, plus 18. So he's 18 years old when he joins Starfleet Academy, plus 4. So he's 22 when he graduates. Um, plus 4 again. 2405 so he's 26 and then plus 4 again he's 30 wait no he's yeah he's 30 so age 30 promoted to lieutenant commander while dealing after dealing with the plague I'll go ahead and put, copy that. Put that in the roll 20. All right. Go back to dealing with the plague. All right. So what plague does he deal with? Um, he's probably also going to just get crisis management as a focus. Dealt with plague on. They got a randomized planet. Well, let's start with here. Is it a Federation species? Eh, 
I'm going to say it's somewhat likely. Or f Federation Planet. It is. Okay. So now we need to randomize an alien species that's... Oops, wrong one. An alien species that's starch. That's a uh, Federation. Tell our... Ooh. Tell our prime. Poor Tell our prime. Okay, can't do that. Alright, so... On Tell our prime... Okay, so we'll put that on there. On Teller Prime. And then we'll put that here. Got it. I'll just edit the one on Gilded. On Teller Prime. Alright, interesting. Alright, so now we are gonna. Oh, this is the end, okay. Basically the end. Oh, he needs more control and fitness. And it says two points. So I'm going to do control, fitness. And I'm going to do command. I'm going to keep it at four because it you know, gives him room to grow a bit. Four. Um, I'm going to say his medicine and science. I think he learned a lot on that plague. And his value is going to be never leave a man behind because maybe on teller prime he was ordered hey just leave uh, and he was like fuck that i'm not leaving so all right so now we need a name random human well, random name generator <laughs> obviously it's, it's gonna be human uh, so many name generators i just i just literally want anything Cade, gen okay, except for Cade. Someone lumpy or rotund? Yeah. I don't want either one of those. Wade. Uh, Bax. No. Norris Cross. I like Cross. I'm going to go with Cross for the last name. I used to... Ha I made a character once in a vampire hunting series. Last name of Cross. First name Chris, which I'm not going with this time. Todd. I hate the name Todd. Theobald. Man. No. Let's generate more. Craig, Kings of Ebenezer, Marmaduke, Long. What's with these horrible names? Tristan, no, no. I hate all of these names, <laughs> like, with a passion. Richard is, like, the only normal one. Jack, eh. Cummings, Jeff, Cyril, eh. Uh, Veer. God, these are just the worst kind of names ever. Who would name their kid any of these things? Benjamin's normal. Was too long for me. Hunter. I'm going to go with Hunter Cross because that sounds like a badass name. Hunter Cross. And don't give a shit about your pronouns. Uh, let's see. Traits. Any other traits? Eh, probably not. We'll say uh, in. Made. Exo. Of. Headset went off for no reason. Made exo of small ship. I'll have to figure out what ship that is. Because he was, uh, let's say, transferred to second ship and made exo in 24-12. At age, so that's what, 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 3 or so, at age 33. So, like, r roughly, you know, a little bit younger than Riker. But it's a small ship. So now, I need to find names of his first ship and his second ship. Alright, so... Oh, he's an XO. He's definitely a lieutenant commander still. Alright, export to PDF. Second page, two page. And then I'll probably end the stream here. Um, because I got to go handle something and I'll probably come back. Unless 
my friend wants to play some Starforged or something. Mm, what folder should this go into? Just put it over there. Alright, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Why is this there? Alright, so just looking at all my pages here. There's a view. Oh, that looks cool. Man. I wish I could use this as a character sheet. Instead of having to transfer it over to roll 20. Alright, so... I think we're done with that. We just need to now make a, a ship. We just need to make the second ship, which he's XO on. Alright, I guess I should actually make the character sheet. Lieutenant Commander Cross Hunter. Alright, we'll get back to that in a moment. I'll use this to decide what he looks like, and then I'll try to find a picture based on it. Um, I guess I should do that now. Or should I do the ship? I'll do the ship, because that's more important. And it's 2412. So it's going to have to be it. Well, it's a small ship, so it can really be anything. I don't even know what the hell is going on with that. Default year, we, what, the current year in the new campaign, 2412. Ship type, category, size category, pod, shuttlecraft. Well, it's a starship, but it's going to be small. Alright, standard frame, custom frame, yes, yeah, standard. Ignore end of service. Wait, ambassador class was ended? You know, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to ignore it, because I want... Alright, it's got to be... I'm going to say it's it can't, it's got to be a 3. Oberth class, probably. Nova class, probably. I like Nova way better than Oberth. Oberths are ugly as hell. Uh, what else? Defiant as Exo. Yeah, I could see him being Exo and tactical officer, so, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go with Defiant, it is solo, so, hopefully, yeah, <laughs> mission profile, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, let's see, he was transferred after the plague, so we'll say the plague ship, the, the ship he was on when he was dealt with the plague was probably like, you know, a crisis response, crisis emergency response, but this one is gonna be... Gotta, it's got to be something. I mean, he is a tactical officer, and uh, I hate—I hesitate to say tactical operations because that's—I don't want to only be doing that. Reserve fleet, patrol, pathfinder reconnaissance, espionage. And, I'm pretty sure those are the same thing. Let's see: espionage and intelligence, command two; pathfinder and reconnaissance, command two; con three. So wait, uh, whatever. Um, colony support. I mean, either way, let's see. Security's one, yeah. So it's not gonna be that. Um, security three. Uh, hmm. This is a world building game primarily, so I want to build the world, so it's probably going to have to be Pathfinder Reconnaissance, so I can actually build the world as I'm going along. I hate the fact that security is only two, but makes sense. I don't, there's no world building one, unfortunately. Alright, so I'll do that. Improve reaction control, improve warp drive. Probably improve warp drive, even though I don't really care about power. Actually, I probably will care about power in this game because it's solo. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, rugged design. Ship is designed durable, easy act, critical sense, allow repairs, reduce the difficulty of talk to repair. I'll go with that one. Then the next one, I'll just. What? That's not fair. 
I'll probably just put one on there. Weapons 13, Jesus. Yeah, four points allocate. Well, engines is going to be one. Sensors. Structure. And computer. Okay. Oh, fucking name. You know, I'll just call it the World Weaver, because that's pretty much what we're doing. Registry. Um, is there a Galactic Alliance like in my game? 50-50. Uh, Extreme note. So it's definitely NCC something. Gonna have to look up all the NCC things. NCC. Alright, so it's super future, so... Definitely not that far. Alright, so it's probably nine, ninety thousands. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else more future. I don't see anything. Isn't one of the cartoons set in, like, Either way, um, I'll just take the first one, 24 one, and just go up one. USS Christopher. It's a weird name. Um, t -t -t -t. So, 97937. I'm going to say long serving. Because it is a defiant class, and it was probably made in like 20. Um, and I'm gonna say it's renowned, just to make it easier on me. Actually, I'll ask: Is it renowned? I mean, if it's legacy, it's probably renowned. Oh, wait, legacy doesn't mean no. It's long serving. Uh, is it renowned? Yes, I, I guess that's yes. So, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's freaking 20 years old. All right, export. Open folder, move it to the right folder, okay, I love DS, right, I'll have to make this later, and then I need a picture of him, um, I'll do that when I put the, everything in, alright, so I didn't get to really do anything on Roll20, but I will later at another time. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching and, and supporting. And please subscribe and please send this link of this, you know, show or my channel to others who might be interested in Star Trek Adventures or uh, any other RPGs, solo or otherwise.